Uh, okay, let's go on. So we like to introduce you uh, very briefly. I just want to say this that uh, there are certain new things we want to familiarize it, and Dr. Kenneth will be leading through uh, for this uh, morning. This is the Smart Tree uh, UMS. So this is a learning management system that takes over the Smart Version Two. Okay. Uh, for this semester, must say dua ini parallel running. Okay, but whoever that is adventurous, please come into here, and that's what uh, Dr. Kenneth will have to orientate you. Okay, we also have a step-by-step ebook -step, uh, e series available for you to download. So after Zul will show you where to download it. Okay, step by step within the evening you already master it. Okay, go on. Now please also know that afterwards uh, Dr. Kenneth will show you where to read this TEL policy for UMS. Uh, this one was established uh, two years ago and it is all uh, gazetted by the Senate itself. It means all levels of the deans and so on have also approved of it. So this is what they actually uh, govern the technology and labor learning among academic staff as well as our students. Okay. This is a OER repository, and just a show of hand for only those who are present here. Any one of you have uploaded anything over here before? Okay. Ah, yes, we have one here. Now, whoever that have uh, uploaded, uh, please realize that this will also be <coughs> registered uh, by Google Scholar. Okay. So, if you please, you want to have your citation increase. Of course, you put into high impact factor. But high impact factor, berapa ramai orang yang dapat baca you punya artikel? They got to pay and so on. But if you go through here, you send it to the whole world, okay? And you will increase your citation. Again, Dr. Kenneth will show you how to increase uh, your citation. Okay, so this is available for all of us, you know. Even your makanan here is also here, okay? It's all listed. A uh, matter of actually uh, knowing how to upload and all of us can upload our materials using something called an open license, Creative Common. Uh, Creative Common uh, is a license used to make our learning resources as an OER. OER stands for Open Educational Resources. And let me tell you how important it is. In November 25th, in UNESCO Paris, the resolution considering use of OER among higher institutions throughout the whole world have been endorsed. Baru saja, okay? And in Malaysia, in Southeast Asia, there happens to be a representative huh, who was also involved in the preparation of the resolution, and he is from UMS. Okay, go on. This is our Center for E-Learning uh, Punya Strategic and Action Plan, which is actually UMS Strategic and Action Plan for E-Learning, okay? Uh, to go to the digital details, again, afterwards, uh, Dr. Kenner can show you where to see all these things in our website. Okay, go on. Congratulations, your FSMP. <laughs> platinum, okay? Now, Platinum Award is given only to the few faculties that achieve 100% blended learning. So, please uh, maintain that momentum, okay? But... No problem. Okay. Dr. Ken, uh, you uh, please look into this. No problem. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, please understand also that uh, Pusat E Pembelajaran is a service center, you know. You don't use us, we shake leg. <laughs> so we are open to uh, open up more platform and please come and share with us what are the things that we could do to help our academic staff, especially our main key stakeholders, our students, how they could actually uh, be enhanced, increase you know, their academic performance and our productivity. Okay, come and share with us and we can sama-sama uh, grow and advance. Okay, go on. So example, uh, one that is already being uh, up already. Afterwards, uh, there's the website www.com. Okay, and it is 
Sea Delta Commonwealth Digital Education through this particular uh, module, okay, students as well as lecturers can participate and when you complete it, you will get a certificate. And for the University of Malaysia Sabah, Commonwealth uh, has already made arrangement. Our students, you know, who pass this, they will get a certificate that will be international certificate, okay, and it will be embedded in the transcript academic. Finally, during convocation, it will be one of them. All this, we are working with Dr. Lai, so as to increase the graduate employability. So, okay. Anyway, uh, Dr. Kenneth will share to you concerning what's the meaning of the digital identity, okay? Something in 2030, the whole world, you know, everyone will have a digital identity. Okay, he will share to you more concerning this. And we're taking the lead in this. Okay, go on. So there are also other publications. For example, this one is a student guide, a learning with technology guide, okay? And all these are available for downloading. They are all not copyright. They are all uh, copyrighted, so-called uh, under CC, meaning Creative Common. I, <laughs> my statement just now is not copyrighted. It's copyrighted under something called Open License Creative Common. Okay. So uh, again, uh, please remember our PP is just a service center uh, to service all our academic staff. Okay. For the benefit of our main key students, our students. Okay. And uh, again, uh, I'd like to say congratulations for receiving the platinum. And for this, I think I'd like to give a personal note to Dr. Siu. <laughs> Definitely, you play a very important part. <laughs> uh, because uh, he has been the veteran, you know, and every meeting, he's the main person to check us. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, any question? Because uh, otherwise, I will be going for another meeting. <laughs> In FKSW. Is there anything, a pressing thing that you must ask? Please ask now. Anything? Okay. Yes, please. Yes. Ah. How this course can benefit to our alumni? Okay, okay. So I think Dr. Kenneth, after you address this, huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Because, uh, yeah. So, the seed data is basically a digital leadership uh, identification platform. So, what happens? We all have our qualifications as a uh, whatever PhD, BSc. So, a seed data goes across disciplines. So, what seed data means if you have got a seed data certification, it means that you are digitally competent. So that is part of the, D have you remember the DNA, Digital Native Agenda, which is, uh, there was a uh, talk in UMS, DNA, so that's part of the DNA. So by 2030, uh, 2030 everybody in the world will have one digital identity, so uh, the globally. So in Malaysia, it's, it's a part of the international process of getting digital identity. I'll give you a very simple example. Okay. Many, many of us don't know. On Facebook, how many identities do you keep? Do you keep one private and one personal? <laughs> Two types, right? Okay. Yeah. So actually, if you have, a, according to the digital uh, I mean, protocols, we, we can only keep one identity for everything. Because if you keep more than one, it opens the door to hacker. So when you go through the course, they will teach you those steps, how to protect your identity. The course is online, it's self-paced, and you can take it at your own pace. And when you complete it, you will get a certificate. Yeah. Completely self-paced. Yeah. That is, is mean that uh, alumni can apply. Everyone can apply. Everyone. Yes, yes. Uh, when they register, uh, pick uh, and click UMS, click. Uh, then they will be able to get. So all our students can register. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we are communicating it through uh, different channels. Uh, for example, Dr. Lai, to our student. Yeah. So the students are all aware of. It. Yeah, they are aware. Oh, yeah. balloon, balloon. All of our students yeah. bloom. Uh, now we are doing, uh, uh, the first to start this off is uh, for the alumni because uh, they have a deadline uh, whereby they must get those, especially our graduates who are still unemployed, uh, to be upskilled. So this is one of the upskilling for them. Okay, it's recognized. Then otherwise, uh, the concept paper for C Delta is yet to reach the hand of the Senate level. It's been prepared. Senate level must approve. So this has not been... But top management has already uh, accepted it. Aware, but not officially launched yet, like. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. See? Dr. Siu always checklist. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Because of this, uh, we are very careful of what we do. Okay, very good. Okay, anything else? Maybe Dr. Adila, yesterday we mentioned about praise by Dr. Yasin, the blended learning. Maybe the ELNPT. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. It's about the ELNPT. Ah, yes. Please. Synchronization, right? Yeah, so. Okay. So, so basically, what you see when you click on your LMPT is a circle rotating, but it cannot retrieve the data. So, yeah. we have transferred the data basically to the Pandaftar. But Pandaftar has a has a, a programmer who is working on that thing. Yeah. But that is that thing to make it for the 15 deadline, 15 January for the ELMPT submission. Yeah. So, otherwise. A lot of us, I mean, all of us will have to struggle to actually because yeah. that is part of the... Yes, 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 yes. We have addressed it actually formally yes. with the Pandaftar office. Yes. That is exactly. beyond our control. Yeah, we but uh, Zul have also personally uh, yes. is working with them. So we, we hope that uh, today itself, tell them, uh, okay? We are the man, with them today they have to work on it. But that can become, for instance, if it's not ready by 15th, we can also raise it up with them. But we will try our yeah, best yeah. to get But definitely, okay. Thank you. There are some, some of the system which are not integrating with each other. You must have noticed yeah. some of them as well. So, because we don't have a single sign-on as yet, so it's not integrating. Mm -hmm. But we will address it. I know it affects all of us. I know. Yes. Sorry, just one. Is there anything similar to this lecture? It's for everyone. Yeah. For, for this one, uh, for students, they got it three modules. For lecturers, there are six modules more. Okay. And along this line, uh, there will be some lecturers uh, who will be trained as mentors okay, for this particular C Delta so that they will be helping to support uh, the 17,000 students potentially who will be doing this course. So. Oh, that's one we will be uh, inviting to uh, a total of 30 lecturers from UMS across faculty. Yeah. We'll be training you over a period of two days yeah. in C Delta. Yeah. And the trainer actually is an international trainer that will come uh, come in. All right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I just at this point in time also have to tell you something that uh, those of us who have been uh, building up very good uh, materials in our blended learning. Okay. So we will encourage you to participate in MOOC development. So that means uh, your materials are already ready. So we have a platform, okay? And then we will help you to convert it to become your MOOC, okay? Okay, and then your MOOC, will, of course, will go globalized, worldwide. So again, increasing your visibility, increasing your citation, hopefully. And we are getting the university to setarakan the quality MOOC uh, as publication which is uh, all in Pertimbangan. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Okay. No more questions. Okay. No more questions, huh? Dr. Lee? Yeah. So, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank yeah. you yeah. so Perhaps, uh, what is next? Are we supposed to... We are going to go into the system. So, we'll uh, continue right. in the system. So, we'll just continue. continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually go until the afternoon, uh, until lunch time. So we'll train you in the system, and then in the afternoon time, we can help you if anyone needs specific advice. Specific, uh, that's why we'll be here in case you need specific help with the system. Okay, so we'll just start now. Yeah, we'll start now. So thank you very much, Dr. Lee. Uh, good morning, Salam Sajatra, and Happy New Year to you all. So today, I will introduce you formally to the smart three systems, what you call the smart V3, okay? So what, what, earlier you are familiar with smart two. Smart three is the upgrade of smart two because we are using a Moodle platform. You have heard of Moodle? So Moodle is an open source platform, we are using Moodle. So when Moodle upgrades our system, we have to upgrade it for many reasons. One of them is security. So we have to upgrade to smart three because security. Now based on JTMK's advice, they'll be running both smart two and smart three simultaneously. Okay, so they'll both run parallel to each other. They want us to transition to Smart 3 because Smart 2 will eventually become outdated with the security features and all the other features will be upgraded. So Smart 3 is basically a new version of Smart 2 
and it has additional features. Okay, so one of the features, one of the aspect of blended learning actually which we have not gone into is interactivity. Okay, currently the ministry is uh, using 1732. Okay, 1732 is, but it does not measure interaction. Interaction meaning, for, I'll give you an example of interaction. If a lecturer submits a uh, assignment to you, okay, as a part of a formative assessment, what do we do? We give them mark and return it back. But according to the cycle, we should receive the formative assessment and uh, assess it, return it back with the comment. Okay, and then we go back to the entire cycle. So that cycle is basically what they look for in the next phase of audit. They want to see whether we are actually inter interacting or just download, give the mark and return back. So to measure that, we need the analytic system which is there in Smart3. We, we cannot do it with our, we can do it with Smart2, but it's very tedious. It has a log file. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to assign you, each one of you, a Smart3 account. Okay, so Zulfadli will be, he is the administrative control for that, so he can assign you the account. Do you want to, st have you got the name, Zul? Okay, so we will, so what you need to do, we'll go through step by step, is to log on onto the website of the Smart Tree. Okay, so, so this is the Smart Tree. Are you all familiar, with, have you seen this? Okay, so just get familiar with it, get used to it, because when you see it first, it's a shock. So you just get familiar with the system itself. So basically the system is, uh, has a better interface. This is because our students uh, want, uh, want a more modern interface. Okay? We cannot compete with EDX because EDX and all the, like Coursera, EDX are international platform for teaching and learning. We cannot compete with them because they have very beautiful graphic, then they have JavaScript running and the images are dynamic. We can't do that in UMS because we don't have the server capacity to handle. So we go in for the simpler interface, which is the SmartTree uh, Smart interface, which is actually Moodle. So this is, uh, the, the interface is different. So what you need to do is you click on login and this one will accept your single sign-on password and ID, the same as your HR online. 